Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We're here today with a duo duel for our Irby Derby campaign featuring a new mech. This time we have Edmund, a pilot who hasn't been on the channel for quite some time after fielding his Irby Lamb, is piloting our Summoner F, but we also have Bobsled piloting a brand new Hellbringer C, so we'll show that in just a second. Our opponents, we do have a Red Reaper BLXKNT, which we actually scavenged, well, were rewarded with uh, during our last campaign. It's quite capable of mech, if I do say so myself. Medium X pulses and a heavy PPC combined to make quite a dazzling punch. And it looks like a Prometheus, which I think I've fought him once before and I wasn't too terribly impressed. Very long range build, memory serves as well, is also being shown a little bit by those LRMs getting us, well, I guess mixed bag, really. Double LRM 15, double SRM 6, double Clan MG. All clan tech, so that will be pretty deadly, at least compared to Intersphere counterparts. And our Hellbringer C will feature double ER medium laser and double ATM-12. Now, the ATM-12 does come with selectable ammo, so we have standard and high explosive, because I do tend to favor the mid to close range accuracy, I'm sorry, mid range brackets for the mech. And we will see very soon just how devastating that can be. Um, there are some trade-offs for each type of ammunition, and we can see that reflected in the accuracy here. So if we take a look, our range bracket is medium range, and if I switch to high explosive, uh, that should populate now as max range plus 6. So uh, it means you got to kind of fiddle with things a little bit, but the Hellbringer is a very, very fast 60-tonner, so we should be decently capable in that regard. The amount of damage output as well is quite impressive. Um, and it looks like we're going to start off by sort of bullying that Prometheus, given that he is a little bit out front and exposed. So let's get the Summoner F on the way, and Edmund is uh, the reason that we have such exceptional priority with the Summoner, as he does increase the, uh, the priority from his pilot skills. Let's go ahead and take a shot with the Ultra AC-5. It's pretty shoddy accuracy, if I do say so myself. But we will start to bore through, and in fact, yes, we do have Structure Exposed, something that we can exploit later on with those ATMs. Uh, of course, ATM-24 is less, well, in terms of sheer number of missiles, there are fewer, I suppose, than um, if we had done a strictly SRM build, especially for the tonnage, but I think, ooh, wow. Well, so he's cooked himself completely. We had nothing to do with that. I haven't hit him with any heat, anything at all, and so... Frankly, I think that means it's kind of not the best designed mech, if I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and let the Red Reaper move. Yep, okay, very well. The AI is doing strictly AI things, of course. And now we can move up a little bit closer. Should be able to make great use of those HE missiles. And let's take a look. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work there. That is what you like to see every single day and twice on Sundays. Uh, we do have the summoner now, and what I'm hoping for, yep, we do have enough for it. We can do a called shot and slow down that Red Reaper to moving on priority four. So let's go ahead and I think we're not gonna have a lot of success. Well, let's go for the leg. So something interesting, that shield that the Red Reaper is carrying is not just for show, it does actually decrease the amount of incoming damage uh, for the Red Reaper. I think it's something like 15% maybe. It's decently high. Uh, flat always always supplies, everything like that. And, uh, well, that uh, sword of his is not to be underestimated either. I say that, of course, having just gotten right up in his face, but that's because I am hoping we can knock this guy down on this turn. Oof. This might end up poorly for me. No. Okay. So, a little bit too slow to make use of that. I do recall having used the Red Reaper before, we had to do some major upgrades. Um, we had to do some major upgrades to his engine. And I think I actually got rid of some of that uh, some of that weaponry too, just because it is so hot uh, to use those all together like that, as we're seeing right now. So let's get up nice close and personal with the summoner F and take another shot in. I mean not great, not really the effect that I was hoping for. Destroying a single medium pulse isn't that spectacular either. And now here comes a punch? No. Interesting. Just opening up the medium X pulses, um, they act basically as triple shot, one third damage type deals. And we're going to go ahead and ordinarily I would kick here, but if you take a look down in the lower right, we have 11.3% accuracy. It's not impossible. 
but it's very unlikely, and if we miss, we will, of course, hurt our own stability. So instead, we're just going to take the opportunity presented and shoot the Red Reaper right in his keister. So, HE ATMs online. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, phenomenal work. That's about what I was hoping for off of that. But I'm salvageable parts, but of course you can't get salvage from a dual mission, so we instead will just take the payday. Hang around for just a second, and then I'll walk you guys through a little bit of what I have planned next for the campaign. Mission successful. So it looks like I completely forgot to max out the payout on this, so I should have gotten about 1.6 million C bills there, instead I got less than I paid for the pleasure. So that's uh, not good, but now eh, mistakes happen. And it does of course count toward our mission completion. So what I mean by what I mean by mission completion is if we go into the store and we take a look system store and go into equipment, uh, there should be yes, game world solo lightback duel. So this is where those contracts are populated inside of the equipment section of the system store. And once you've completed, I believe it's five of a single category. It could be six, it could be four, but I think it's five of a single category. You will get a reward gladiator mech of that category. So for example, if I complete five uh, heavy mech duels like the one that we just fought, we will receive one gladiator heavy mech sort of as a present, kind of like it's the same it's the same pop-up as you see when you start off the game and you get the uh, heavy metal crate or things like that. So um, for our campaign moving forward, ooh, actually, you might want one of those. DNI cockpit. Hmm. 10% less damage taken, 10% less death from above, self damage taken. That seems good. It's pretty heavy. You know what, we'll, we'll grab that because I have a Highlander I want to spec out. <laughs> there goes my cash. Anyway, um, I think we're going to bop around between game worlds for a bit and do some duels and sort of get some, get some money doing that, just have some fun. We were up in clan space for a bit and if we go over to the mech bay, we can see that because we, of course, do have the Hellbringer C uh, modified from the C configuration. Of course, we also have a Summoner or Loki, uh, pretty, pretty close to the default loadout there for the Summoner F configuration, although not quite. And uh, we've also got a fair amount of clan, uh, clan weaponry and equipment, so I'm feeling pretty good about that for right now. I think maybe we'll head up that way uh, in a week or so again. Um, I don't know, it's just, uh, we did a very clan-heavy thing toward the end of the last campaign. If you haven't seen that, I do recommend that you go ahead and see what I'm talking about there. And I don't really want to do a full repeat this time around. So we'll spend some time doing some duels, we'll take uh, on some other contracts. If you guys want me to, uh, just let me know in the comments. We will take on the DLC Flashpoint missions, or Flashpoint missions in general. We did the campaign, uh, the Flashpoint campaign during the last one I posted, so I'm not going to do that. But uh, I would do the DLC um, storyline, or just you know faction alliances, things like that, etc. So let me know what you think, and uh, well, that's all for today. We'll see you again real soon.